Don't you all totally love Brooke Wyndham's new running workout? It's like the perfect way to get some endorphins. No, I don't. I'm so tired I could fall asleep right here. Well, good thing we aren't in Nevada. Did you know that in Reno, it's illegal to sit or lie down on any sidewalk? Looks like you won't be taking any breaks around there. Colorado and Nevada, Madison Crump. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. My name's Dory, and that scream reminded me of this one time. I met this girl in a weird hair thing back at the Colorado River, and she said her name was Madison. She was something called a grand officer in Rainbow from California. She is terrified of fish, to say the least. Anyways, she said she was here from Colorado's Grand Assembly themed Under the Sea in Denver. I'm from River Harbor. I feel like this will make me feel right at home. I told her I was interested in attending, so a lady should she was with scoop me up and put me into fishbowl. Madison was definitely not going to touch me. Throughout the car ride through the Rockies, I learned that this lady was named Sammy, and she was Madison's job a year before her. How cool is that? When we got there, Madison was the only one in a cuffy looking dress and a fancy bun. The rainbow girls in Colorado wear straight dresses and hair down. Colorado has six assemblies. When we arrived, they all walked in and put on these fancy necklaces in a fun way. Madison says California only puts them on over the head. We met a girl named Caitlin. She was very nice and she was the Grand Worthy Advisor from Colorado Rainbow. Her sister was the Grand Worthy Associate Advisor and soon would be Grand Worthy Advisor. In Colorado, they vote on a girl for Grand Worthy Associate Advisor and that girl moves up to Grand Worthy Advisor the very next year. This time, sister after sister. Throughout our time in Denver, we also met some guys in suits. Madison said they were called the Malay Boys and they were doing combined convention with Rainbow. How cool is that? Our time in Denver sadly had to come to an end, but I met so many amazing people. However, this isn't the last time I got to see Madison. Haha, ha. see what I did there? Anyways, sorry. I get all my jo bad jokes from her. I would be joining Madison soon in Reno, Nevada. The Colorado River actually gives water to Las Vegas, Nevada, and she said she would pick me up on the way to Reno. Reno was very different from Colorado. There were a lot of people from California there as well. Apparently, Nevada Rainbow and California Rainbow are super close. Anyways, the theme of the Grand Assembly was boogieing through a century of rainbow. A century! That's a long time! I played very scary music. This was no place for a fish. A girl named Lexi noticed I was scared. She made me feel better. She explained she was a Grand Worthy Advisor from Nevada. When all the Grand Officers of Nevada walked in, they looked exactly like California, with cupcake dresses and fancy buns. They looked gorgeous in red. In Nevada, the new Grand Worthy Advisor is called randomly. This time, it was a girl named Kaden. She was so happy and filled with joy to be called as Gua. See? I'm getting better at the slang. Looks like California isn't getting rid of her anytime soon. Sadly, our time in Reno, Nevada had to come to an end. I was super sad and loved learning about Rainbow. However, Nevada has done a lot of fun things throughout the year. A little scary birdie told me that Nevada traveled to a California reception and attended our Southern California Rainbow Camp. Nevada is also doing a bunch of work increasing their membership and doing community service, just like California. Wait, did you ever see Madison again? Of course I did, silly. I'm telling this exact same story at Grand Assembly 2023 in Vasela, California. Wink.